Thank you all for being here to celebrate this truly bizarre style of wedding with us. We're certainly missing a good number of important people today, so thank you for enduring my abundance of emotions over not only their absence, but the immense meaning of your presence. I don't want to strive for Please nothing. know that those of you watching from afar, your physical presence Anymore. is deeply missed. However, your energetic and loving presence is deeply felt. Mike, you've been such a very, very important part of my life for so many years. I don't have a biological brother. You're the closest thing that I have to one. I talk about you all the time. I, I show your website. I show your work. And I got a smile on my face. I'm a little proud about it. So. To love, to loyalty, to passion, and to this new marriage. You often ask me to give you reasons why I love you, as if love is a reasonable state one can find oneself in. Sure, you were kind and caring, intelligent and wise, soft at heart and tough as nails, thoughtful, capable, compassionate, and beautiful on the inside and out. I'm comforted knowing I can count on you for support and advice whenever I'm stuck trying to figure out what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs> 2020 has been a crazy and brutal year for everyone. They say that many relationships fail the test when couples were forced to spend a lot of time together. Yet I feel we have grown together more so than in any other year. So if we can not only survive, but thrive while the world burned around us, then I know we can take on anything together. I love you because one day I woke up and was more sure of it than anything I had ever been in my entire life. It is inexplicable, unconditional, and unqualified. And that's the only answer you're ever going to get out of me. <laughs> From the get-go, your first few dates were a blissful afternoon at the Wild Animal Park. And then another one spent driving around looking for birds of prey to photograph so that Michael could later draw them and paint them. Your uh, animal-loving and artistic soul was amplified by his. And I knew you met your person. As we all know, I am incapable of answering simple questions with anything less than a full dissertation on my feelings and opinions, <laughs> but I promise I will get to the point eventually. <laughs> First. <laughs> you make me laugh in a way that makes me question if anyone I've ever laughed at before was even remotely funny. You provide all of the frequent and high quality hugs I require on a daily basis. You do all of the heavy lifting, all of the heavy lifting in every way imaginable. With you, the good shit is always better and the shitty shit is always less shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and you let me fall apart when I need to, but you also never let me hit the ground. One step forward, one step Oh my god. The place you guys, this is fucking gorgeous. My commitment to you is one I give willingly, absolutely, and without hesitation. I am yours utterly and have been for a very long time. We were married before this day and always will be. I stand by you, a rock to lean on, a shoulder to cry on, a pillow to rest your head, as long as we both shall live. Choosing to marry amidst the chaos of the world today, to me, signifies a beautiful representation of the ever-present longing of the soul to evolve. By the powers vested in me, I pronounce you wife and husband.